I acknowledge the Holy Spirit. I acknowledge our Father in heaven. I also acknowledge our leadership here present. I'm a citizen champions. Chain champions here present with all your protocol order. Niaz Lonke, Elila Palivela and Dawenes Chineo, Ezu, Ezeluke Neneo, Zikam Talkers, Nial Koni Pakakul, Nialitanda Lonke. Thank you, Mtokas Womunche. We as a good minangi at Doba Doba in. We as a meeting minangi at Kombisa and Essen Debra in. I, Nyarikonipa. Thank you very much. I saw us outside there around the stadium. There is no bus around. There was no lorry around. There is no chicken in around. And more importantly, there were no scarves around. Thank you for supporting our movement. Thank you for supporting yourself, the citizens movement. As you know, in 2018, we had the Movement for Democratic Change Alliance, which was an alliance of political parties. But Cates, we have a different approach. We have brought a different outfit, which is a citizen alliance. The Triple C is an alliance of citizens, not an alliance of political parties. We realize that political parties betray, but the citizens will never betray. And that's why we want to celebrate you wherever I've gone. I want to go and give out to you, Jaha Kangene, Jaha Kangene. Now I'm not so sure you have seen our campaigns, what you are seeing here is not a product of any foreign funding. This is you, the people, you, the citizens of Zimbabwe. You have funded our travel, you have funded our vehicles, you have funded our t-shirts. We are happy, we salute you. Thank you very much for supporting your struggle. I'm particularly happy because we have no strings attached. We have not received money from any donor. The donors are the citizens of Zimbabwe. If anything, the party that is donor funded and funded by other powers is ZANU-PF. We don't want a puppet party like ZANU-PF. We want a sovereign party like the Triple C, funded by the citizens, driven by the citizens, driven by the citizens. You know we have done very well. You want to look at the people in Mangale? I want to watch the eye. Get them fun. You can be hecho locho. I want to watch the eye. Get them fun. You want to look at the police and all the guys. I want the police to watch the eye. Get out the eye. You can be barracks. You know you are in barracks. I'm a soldier, I die, I am Dala, Gena Mvana. Anga Zuguti Kwenapo, Ando Ula Waya Uti. Angi Zuguti. Kan Gena Ujaha? Kan Gena Ujaha? You know, we have had meetings here. I've never seen the white seat. This fool, I stand is under said. Thank you very much. Anga zuguti si ango hi nimka ka twenty three. Si zawi na hi nimka ka twenty three. Uza votera uja ha hi ni twenty three. Uza votera ma MPH hi ni. 
za fote la makanza la yetu yini Bye bye zanu pia bye 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 kunjonja bye 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 ya masela bye 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 unduang bye bye Yes men are asking what is the agenda as we go into this home stretch I want to start by thanking God that we managed to win back our 12 seats that had been stolen by Zanubia But more importantly I want to thank the people of Mulawayo Mulawayo Muse Thank you for honoring us. We have never lost an election here in Mulawai. We will never lose an election here in Mulawai. I know that Mr. Mnangagwa had a rally at uh, Country Park. And I know that a Country Park is Zango Akakul. We are going to beat them. They had all the buses, but they didn't have a big crowd. I'm told that they address people from across the whole country. Tina, we don't do that. You don't cheat yourself and lie to yourself that you have support. But it is clear that Mulawa Ayomuche, you support change and you are ready to vote for change. We have inspired people. We have moved mountains. We are ready to form the next government. As for me, I'm ready to unite this country. I'm ready to win this country for change. I'm ready to bring this country back to number one. I'm ready to win this country the nine, number one position in giant position. Are you ready, Bulawayo? Men are asking, but why have we done Bulawayo just uh, two, three days before the election? Bulawayo is the city of kings. I have to come here to seek the indulgence of the kings and the queens. Before we go, is to go to places like Balagwe, where there was Kukura Hund, turn them into memorial museums, so that we acknowledge this history, to say this far and no further. No, 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 we're going to do that. We don't want to impose the solution of healing. We want healing to be bottom up. So we are going to go him up again. We will consult Ezngos, our chiefs Mosabu, our local leaders, our churches so that they lead the community healing process, so that they lead people telling truth. Ukuchela itiniso, suti hai hasvambanin, siva vantuvanye, sivunye, lila lilisbelietu. Ikanza <laughs> It was also accompanied by underdevelopment. I've been to Ngai. The road that was built by Smith is the same road that is there. I've been to Chorocho. The roads, the single strip roads that were constructed during the rotation regime are the roads that are there. There has been no development in this country, particularly in Matebeleland. Matebeleland is forsaken. Matebeleland is forgotten. Matebeleland has been neglected. You must choose a leader for everyone. This young leader is going to remember Matebeleland. This young leader is going to move Matebeleland forward. If Smith were to resurrect today, you would not get lost in Jolocho. 
Because the roads that he built are the same roads. Even going up Ogoblawai, the same buildings that were there are the same buildings that are still there. We want to develop our city. I told you that under our government, devolution is the new revolution. We are going to have a devolution revolution in Zimbabwe. We will make sure that we decentralize our government. Not everything to be done in Harare. One of the first things we'll have to do is to de government. de government services. So that people are able to have government service gone up in Blawai. But beyond that, because we want devolution, we also want to make sure that languages are respected. We are not going to perpetuate language imperialism. If you look at our country, a lot of the people who are acting as police officers or teachers in local communities don't even speak that local language. We want local languages for local people so that the Ashoni Pama language is okay. Not only that, under our government, the devolution key for Blau and the good news I have. We are not going to have Bulawayo as a satellite of Harare. Bulawayo must be the industrial capital of our country. We want to bring back the national railways glamour. Our bullet trains are going to be headquartered here. We want to bring back the NRZ of yesteryear. We want to make sure that the factories are brought back to life. I'm breathing life into Ulawayo, into Tuziatunga, into Tuziatunga, into Tuziatunga. We are in Fortella in Ulawayo. We want to bring the glamour days of Highlanders Iposo Iposo. Highlanders is the first professional football club in this country. We want to bring back the days of Ishola Nyama. We want to bring back those glory days. We want to make sure we are not only an industrial hub for Zimbabwe. We must be the industrial hub and logistics hub for this region and indeed for the Sadduk region. We are for Terahin Uchayonge. Now some are saying what is going to become of Harare. I'm a birth certificate, I'm a national IDs, I'm a passport. Everything has to be done here for Blawa. We want to make sure that we move away from the tribal names that we have given our provinces. And we will reduce our regions into five. Southern region, northern region, western region. Eastern region, central region. Central region is the Midlands. That's where we are going to put parliament building. That's where we are going to put the government city so that we don't hararize everything. Let's decentralize other things to go to other cities. Kangene Ujara Kangene. Kangene Ujara Kangene. Kangene Ujara Kangene. We want to restore the dream of Ubaba Joshua Nkomo. Ubaba liberation idea and liberation dream to unite the people of Zimbabwe. He is the founder of the for everyone mantra, for everyone philosophy. Umdalawe to umdalawe liswe. I'm going to stand on the shoulders of Ubaba Ngomo to unite the country, to move the country forward to Zimbabwe. I told Sajak that up to this day, contrary to what is happening in other countries, we don't have the voters' road that is analyzable, searchable, but they thought that when they gave us a PDF format, we will not be able to crack it. I'm former minister of ICT. We have managed to crack it and we know what they are trying to do. We will not allow them to vote to. Nada. I told Sajak that I have not seen the ballot paper other than what I saw during the police postal ballots voting. We have requested from Sadak, we have requested from Zek that we want to see the sample ballot so that we agree on the quality of the ballot, we agree on the ink to be used, 
We agree also in terms of the arrangement, but I saw that Munangagwa has already rigged the arrangement on the alphabetical order. We are supposed to have 1 up to 11. Number 1, B, then C, number 2. But I see Munangagwa has placed himself right to the top, the other end. But even if you rig the ballot, you will not win the elections in this country, I want to tell you. Kangena Ujaya Kangena? I told Sadak that we are having a problem with the issue of deployment of postal ballots. But I have good news for you. My intelligence is telling me that the majority of police officers who voted defied those bosses and voted for Umkoma and Ujaya. I told Sadak that we are having problems with our ghost polling stations. They want to bring ghost polling stations so that they will then stuff the ballot papers. But you know what? Out of the 12,700 and 12,000 734 or so polling stations. We have made sure that there is a polling agent per every polling station. And I also have been informed and I've told some they shall vote first and they report back to Zex so that they can play around with their votes. But we have said to ourselves, V11s, once we get our results, we are going to tell the world what we would have gotten we will be the first ones to know the results we will not accept you to cheat us again we will save your lives but when you enter the ballot box you must make sure that you date with destiny are not in the interests of Bulawayo, if we find that they are benefiting a small number of people, then we will do everything in law to cancel them. We will also work hard to ensure that the wealth that is generated in this city is kept in this city. At present, our water fees go to Harare. At present, the licenses that we pay for our cars go to Harare. And that means that we can't uh, reconstruct our roads. We will fight to keep our wealth here and deal with it that way. See you Bonga. Uzam Fotela Inu Kanzala Kota. Nia Bonga. Thank you. I've said this, I've done this because we've done the same for all the cities. We don't want to leave things to conjecture. We need steady hands, level headed people to guide our cities. Under our government, we are going to restore executive members. Right now, we don't have executive mayors, but under our government, we will restore 
executive mayors. Beyond the executive mayors, we are going to give you the right of recall. Ama councillors who do not reside with you or who do not come back to you will give you back the right to recall them on the basis of a percentage. It's the same thing with the MPs. We are going to do the same for our MPs. What is our agenda for the entire country? Zambez Water Project is not going to be a sloganeering point. And our government, within the first two years, we are going to make sure that we have dealt with the Zambez water project so that we deal with the water problem here permanently and completely. Are you going to support our program here? Bulawayo, I'm also going to bring you good news. We are not going to treat Bulawayo as a cousin of Harare. Bulawayo is going to be a capital. The president is going to be rotating, we will spend time here in Mulawayo, two weeks in Mulawayo, two weeks in Harare, two weeks in Mulawayo, two weeks in Harare. Yes, of course I will enjoy the benefit of the Queens, you know, so that they are around and I am happy to see the Queens around. We want to make sure that we don't reduce Mulawayo to a second class city. It is a capital city of our country, we must bring our country together, we must unite our country and move forward. Not only are we going to do that, we want to make sure that we upgrade our infrastructure here. Not just the roads, but even the airports. We want to make sure that we also bring the internet of things here in Matebe. We are going to be connectivity for our rural areas and urban areas. Are you going to vote for our program here? Why should you vote? Why should you vote? You vote like We have shown that they have competence and capacity to move our country forward because we are going to be looking for competence, not partisan belonging. We are going to bring the country together. We will ban the issue of deputy ministers and our government. We don't want deputy ministers, we just want a minister so that we cut expenditure on government. We are for Terahini? Kangene Ujaha? Kangene Ujaha? Kangene Ujaha? We are going to have a government for everyone. I've received from the elders of Matebeleng that we have looked at all the key institutions of government. There are non Debele people on Debele citizens who are occupying senior positions in government. For the first time, we'll have police commissioner, we'll have even an army commander who is in Debele because we want to unite our country. We want people to be brought together and to move together. from tokenism. I don't want people of Matebelen to continue being told that you belong to the vice president of the nation. As the legacy of my own government, when I become the leader, I want when I leave, people to be voted on the basis of merit, not on the basis of tribe. And I would want to see a person from Matebelen being voted the president of Zimbabwe. We are voted in now. We want to deal with corruption. And our government, corruption, zero tolerance to corruption. If you are a thief, you must know that you will not see the light of day. We want to deal with this thing of promotion on the basis of corruption. In Zanubia, if you steal, you are promoted. In our government, when you steal, we promote you to the prison. That's where you belong. Asifu Nabandu Anjonja Imari Elizque. Asifu Nabandu Asela. Asifu Nabandu Vayabusa Okondeo. Accountable leadership. Are you going to vote for our government? Mulawa Omusha, are you going to vote for our government? And our government, the traditional institution is going to be restored. We are going to change the title of Ama. Amakos, they are not going to be called chiefs, they must be called kings, because it is those from other countries who brought that language and that taxonomy. 
Our people must be restored in their kingship. King Kumalo, King Lobengula, not Chief Kumalo. That's reducing the title and dignity of our traditional leaders. Are you with us on that one? Not only are we going to do that, we are also going to make sure that government does not interfere with conferment of leadership in traditional institutions. We are not going to use chiefs and village heads as an extension of a political party. And our government, village heads, shall be chosen in their communities. Is it normal? Zero Sarus Guanea Mazeikoko, Ushe Uno Gatwanea Mazeikoko, Koteneva Torwa. Government, get out of the business of traditional leaders. Sifunu Gutama communities, Alun is a easy in the Konapo. Uzali Potera Eni. And our government, which is coming and is sure coming, we are going to make sure that our soldiers, our police, are not partisan. They are respected on the basis of their titles. There is dignity in honor, and there is honor in service. We will restore the dignity of service for the civil service. They have to be paid properly as a gesture of thanking them for the great work that they are doing. Number two, we are going to deal with the economy. We are going to do away with the bond note. As soon as our government has been inaugurated, no more bond note. No more our TGS, yes to the US dollar, yes to the US dollar. We full Sifunu Uta I civil dollar is quamen. Uja Hakangene e dollar is quamen. Uja Hakangene e dollar is quamen. But we're not going to use the US dollar for a long time. We'll use the US dollar just for a short time as we go back to our own currents on the basis of confidence is of doing business, strengthening the confidence in our policies, but dealing with the role of the Reserve Bank, fiscal reforms, monetary reforms, so that we are going to retrench cross fiscal policies and cross fiscal activities. And then make sure that government is on the path of restoration. We have an economic blueprint called RET, which is rapid accelerated transformation of the economy. We are going to improve our employment rate. We are going to improve our inflation rate. Are you going to vote for Ujaha? Are you going to vote for Ujaha? We are also going to deal with the issue of debt. We will deal with our debt, which is about 18 billion. We will pay our debt. But beyond paying that debt, we will not contract any debt which is not authorized by Parliament. So that there is accountability in how we do things. Parliament must be strengthened in oversight under our government. Are you going to vote for this government? Are you going to vote for this government? On the social services, education, is our big deal. And our government, one of the first things we are going to do away with, we are going to remove Amaka 